baby. Big threes when I take my shot, ayy. On the rise and we ain't gon' drop on the grind. It's our time, just watch. We can't be contained. What we need the game, my name will remain. We don't Let's need go. the bands, we don't yeah. need the chains. We go. go free so things won't be the same, nah. On the mission, gotta get it, let's go.
Hey, you. Me. Yeah, you. Don't you want to play something different? Bring it up. <laughs> Try this. Whoa. Nice. Valorant is a five versus five shooter where you'll attack or defend strategic points on the map. Hi hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be making an updated keyboard and mouse settings guide for Fortnite. The last time I made a video about this was probably like 6 months ago. Alright, as you can see, I am in creative. My hand cam and face cam are in different spots. Only reason for that is because when we go into the settings, which we'll do in a minute, I would block them if I was on the left side. Gotta be on the right side. What I wanted to say though, was that I kind of clickbaited you all with the thumbnail. In it, I have the red Air 58 and the GK61. Is let's get on to these settings. Starting at the top of the first tab, the... Video settings, you want to play in full screen mode. Windowed is not good, windowed full screen is not too bad, however, full screen is the best. In the description of the window mode, it quite literally says full screen mode will make your game run slightly faster. Here's some proof if you do not believe me. We're on windowed mode, it looks terrible, there are literal black bars, and as I crank, I can already feel so much input delay. Oh my god. My frames say 240, but it does not feel good. Window full screen is not too bad. However, full screen is the best, so use that. Next up, 144 hertz. You should play 160 because it's one higher than 144. 120 hertz, play 144 FPS. 60 hertz, you can play 60 FPS. You could also play. That makes it way too dark for no reason. You also get way more shadows. I would just stick to 100% or maybe 110. Do whatever the heck you want. User interface contrast is in your settings, so it just changes the contrast for all of these colors. You can even see when I apply it, my game looks the same. All of this stuff in your menu, your friends list, that's all it's for. 1.05 looks decent, but I'm gonna stay to one time. Colorblind mode, again, I have it off on zero strength. This is mainly because Epic screwed up all the colors and no bugging. The auto set quality option is the worst and most useless button ever. All it does is it takes your hardware, aka your PC specs, and then it spits out a bunch of really high presets that you don't ever want. So I'll press it. You can see it changed it to 60 FPS. All Epic. Motion blur on. Oh god. I'll apply it for the memes. What the heck is this? That is worse than console. And I love you console guys, but that is not good. What you should do is change the quality preset to low, and that changes all of these to near, off, or low. Then put the 3D res on 100%. This will make your game look nice and give you a lot more FPS than any other settings. The only one of these that I would change is view distance. You could put that up to epic. This makes things like weapons or mountains in the distance spawn in earlier. I can see that mountain. However, you'll be able to see your opponents at the same distance on near or epic, so it really does not give an advantage. Shadows have off, shadows are useless. Anti-aliasing, if you want, put it on medium, it's not too bad. Anything higher will drop your FPS though. Textures you can have on medium as well. I have heard that playing on high can improve your FPS if you have a GP bottleneck. That worked in chapter 2 season 1, so you might